Good morning, oil traders. It is October 5th, 9.05 a.m. here on the East Coast, and uh, we're basically not much different from where we were at closing yesterday, um, although we're above 50 instead of below 50. Um, after EIA's um, surprise inventory draw report, um, which ended up being much bigger than API reported or EIA anticipated, um, I think we're in for some volatility as the bulls and bears try to decide which direction to go next. Um, it's certainly, you know, the news is certainly in favor of the bulls, so you'd think that we're going up, but consistently we've had bullish news um, last week and this week, and we've had headed down instead. So your guess is as good as mine. Um, I've got a short at 50.20 um, that I'm looking to exit as we descend. If we get below 49.80, I'll be looking to exit um, one or more shorts. Uh, my next short is at 50, uh, excuse me, 49.55, which is between the two are break even at about 49.80. Um, so I might do that in anticipation of a bounce, in which case I could repurchase that short um, for a subsequent fall back down, um, as well as reduce exposure. Of course, the risk there is if we just keep going down, I miss out on those profits. Um, but we'll see. I've got a long at 50.25 that I was looking to exit as uh, at the highs of 50.75. We never actually got to 50.75. We got as high as 50.73. Um, but my uh, trigger price on the ETF, which was HOU, um, that's Horizon uh, Bull ETF, uh, was actually hit. Um, so, but we only he held it for, I think, a few seconds. So even if I had the order in, which I didn't, uh, I didn't post it until after we touched that price point. Um, kind of, I was waiting to see if we could, we would go any higher. Um, but we didn't, and we never actually got back to 50.73 in North American trading, so go figure. Um, and even though yesterday we touched 49.80, um, once I put my or sell order in, we never actually got back there. It's, I swear it's like the market knows when I post my orders and we never get there again. Um, as we do descend, if we descend, um, like I said, I'm going to be exiting shorts below 49.80, and as I do so, I'll be looking to purchase more longs in anticipation of a reversal, either short term or long term. Like I said, I'm prepared to hold these longs um, because I am very much biased towards the downside. I have all these bear positions and only the one long position. So it's time to rebalance the portfolio. Um, but that's kind of my plan. What do you guys think? Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find out more information on my portfolio, trades, results, performance, etc. Uh, in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll touch base with you guys towards end of trading here on the East Coast at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.